Traylon Burks was activated off the injured reserve for the Tennessee Titans for Week 10. That's the good news. The bad news is that it really doesn't matter. Traylon Burks was getting a 16% target share on this offense before going on the injured reserve. And Ryan Tannehill is expected to start in Week 10 against Denver. Ryan Tannehill coming off of a few missed games with that ankle injury. But it doesn't matter, as I said. Tannehill was only averaging 24 pass attempts per game. 16% of 24, right? That's not going to get it done, okay? Heck, Traylon Burks was only running two-thirds of the routes anyways. He was a more than half-time player, but he was not a full-time wide receiver in this offense. He was averaging five and a half targets in the first two games and then was down to a couple targets before the injury. And this is against the Denver Broncos defense that allows the fewest fancy points to wide receivers. Probably gets the Patrick Sertain treatment. Doesn't matter if he doesn't. The reality is this is a bad matchup. And just because Traylon Brooks is activated and expected to play does not mean that he would be a fancy useful piece or even be a, a DFS consideration. You should be... Well, <laughs> you're not going to be picking him up for a while uh, you should not be playing Traylon Burks, even in desperation flex flex plays. It's not good upside. Ultimately, Traylon Burks, good for him getting back on the field. Good for the Tennessee Titans from an NFL perspective. Maybe they have a better chance of, of competing in this Denver Broncos game. But there's not a lot of upside there with the pass volume and with Traylon not playing a lot of snaps. So... Fade Traylon Burks this week in his first game off of the injured reserve.